Hello, uh, here's some parts of our reformer. So we finish it up, and here you can see here's a condenser, and uh, here's another tube like a condensing tube for the gases to escape to equalize the pressure so no pressure build up. Here's a condensing itself, uh, itself, and there's a here's a first stage of condensation, and it's the liquid form of the diesel distillate is actually running through this tube as well into the final condenser. Here's a liquid lock, so it's a prevents gases to escape from the bottom. Here's a upper part, so it's actual column. And here's a control valve, and this control valve to control the flow of the oil into the system. So it's a needle valve. And here's electrical connection. So here is a silica gel, approximately one liter. And this particular one already been used for absorbing some nasty stuff from the diesel fuel. And it's dark, but it's still good enough to be used like a catalyst. Approximately one liter. It's done. Technically this is it. So to open it up, so the whole assembly of the system will take just the seconds. Here's my new version of high temperature oil reformer. Here's a top column, here's the middle part of the column, here's a heater and reactor within. Here you can see an oil supply. So it's a used engine oil or transmission oil or mix of both. Is a lighter fractions. Here in the bottle we've got gases and petrol. You can see it's some dribbles inside. And here's an actual diesel production. It's all still distillates and requires some further treatments. You cannot uh, use it straight like that. You need to settle it over the catalyst or absorbent or something to absorb all the dirt and uh, polymers and everything from this fuel otherwise there's a possibility to produce uh, diesel, kerosene and uh, petrol out of used engine oil and the oil that's supplied into this uh, machine is supposed to be clean I mean no mechanical particles uh, it's better to run it through the uh, centrifuge or something like that to avoid any water inside is a production I need to replace the container okay and uh, here's the temperature we're running it at almost 400 degrees Celsius right now one more time here's a kerosene running out of machine there's a two tubes they're supposed to be separate from each other but I don't care just collect it into one container and later you can uh, recombine it with the diesel fuel to make the fuel viscosity as it's supposed to be. Okay, thank you.